Hello and welcome back to the Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are in Welch, West Virginia, Welch, West Virginia, and we're getting ready to fly down to War, West Virginia. This is a, um, a requested flight, requested flyover of War, West Virginia. We're going to get throttled up here to take off on India 25. Clear skies today. <clears throat> We're already at 2,100 feet. <laughs> Let's get to going. Looks like a short runway. It put me like right in the middle of the dam. Uh, we just had an update and uh, there we go, right off the top of the mountain in Welch, West Virginia. Right off the top of the mountain. I am not lying. This is just gorgeous area. Gorgeous area. I have no idea where we are flying to. Uh, <laughs> I know we're going to war, but uh, we're going to war. War West Virginia. There is the airport. off some flaps and see if we can get some speed built up. Should only take us a few minutes to get there and I'm not sure what heading I need to be flying. I think it was 210 or 218 or something. <clears throat> we'll get to head in that direction. I'll see if I can pick it out. Uh, these little hollers in West Virginia, these uh, little towns, uh, I'm from a little town in Virginia, Southwest Virginia, and we are in South West Virginia, that same mountain range that I'm in, we're, that I live in, we are over top of, so <laughs> Appalachian Mountains should only take like 10 minutes. Hopefully I'll recognize it when we get there. Should I be flying to 10? I know there's a lake uh, nearby when you get there and it's not a very big lake. Or like a wildlife management area. Uh, Burwide, Burwide Lake. That's kind of where I put the GPS to take me, but you know we're in a we're in an airplane that doesn't really have. Uh, all the technology. So we're carrying around a um, GPS with us. Yeah, we got we got some winds buffeting us when we're when we're this low. I would like to be higher, but you know, uh, flying at 220. I think we need to turn to 210. We should probably go a little bit more this way. We're just outside sea. Side sea. I'm going to look for War, West Virginia. And believe it or not, I'm heading toward my hometown. Uh, it would take me 25 minutes, maybe flying this direction, to get to my hometown. Just right on down the down the map. Look at these roads. Look at these roads, man. I mean, this is where we live. This is where we live and how we live. There's no big big cities. No big city of war. <laughs> yeah, these are. Well, this could be uh, uh, mining roads or something like that, but more than likely it's not. This is this is damn where we live, people. <laughs> it is so hard to find with the you know with the G without GPS. <clears throat> you know, I'm looking for a long valley. Um, long ridge line. Look at all these ridges cutting across the tops of these uh, mountains. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I'm going to trim down a little bit and slow down a little bit. Just kind of give a look about here. Uh, it's 10, what time is it? It is 10 20 in the morning, 10 20 a.m. Looking for a couple of rivers that run down. <clears throat> All we have to do is follow the river. <clears throat> Hopefully, it'll get us there or get us close. Because uh, I just, I don't know where I am. I would love to pick it out right now. Just pick it out and go, oh, there it is. We found it. <laughs> but I can't do that just yet. I'm going to fly at about 3,000 feet if I can uh, keep it there. It's hard to find these little towns tucked away in these... Uh, requested flyover and I knew this was going to be so hard to do. <laughs> Just simply because there, it's not. You are literally in the middle of like four airports. But these airports are so small. You're in the middle of nowhere. That's, that's where, where West Virginia is. It's in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but a uh, fun fact, uh, my mother was born in Yukon, which is just right up, just right up the holler, <laughs> right up the holler, uh, right up from uh, more West Virginia. It looks like a, well, I don't know, there's some uh, ponds there. Okay, here we've got a major river running... Um, East-West? Yeah, major river running east-west, but it doesn't look familiar to me. Oh, yes it does. Yes it does. Probably flying right over war. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh my god. got uh, probably flying over Yukon. I, I have no idea. We're just going to take a peek. Uh, see what this is. I'm not seeing the two creeks coming together like I, I hoped I would. So at the moment I do not know where I am. <clears throat> somewhere close okay that river comes around <clears throat> I'm kind of looking for a long valley and this is the long valley Here's the bank, and then here's the turn in the river. This just, uh, hmm. Could be, could be, but I doubt it. We're really close. I'm going to turn again, just slightly south. We're not going to hit any ridges, uh, ridge lines. Oh, what do we got up here? No, we got to stay on this river. We got to stay on this river, I believe. Oh my God! What a 
what an amazing trip this is because it is so hard to find without major landmarks. I mean, you know, you don't have a landmark, you don't know where you are. Okay, there's a tunnel going through. I'm not familiar with the tunnel going through. We're not... Uh, I could be too far east. Following the train track, definitely. Oh, that looks like a coal mine right over there. Strip mine. <clears throat> we got a strip mine. They, um, the easiest way sometimes to get to the coal is just to cut the top of the mountain off. And you get to the coal that way. These mountains are the oldest mountains in the world oldest mountains in the world. These mountains used to be as high as the Himalaya mountains. Yeah, this is a little strip mine here, I guess. And they reclaim it. You know, they, the coal companies, they a lot better than what they were back in the 30s, you know what I mean. Um, we're going to pull up the map. I don't know where I'm at. I'm lost. <laughs> uh, now, sometimes this will crash the game, so... I think that's Big A Mountain. Uh, you may hear me talk about Big A Mountain in some of my other videos close to home. That may be it, just right off the windscreen there. Um, that means I'm close to Tazewell, and I don't want to be close to Tazewell. That looks like it may be at the big road. 19 North, maybe? Okay, I'm pulling up the um, map. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, yeah, we're, we're down near Tazel. I gotta turn around, what the hell? You were way down near Tazel. back up to War, West Virginia. I, did, I must have missed it. It was off to the right and I was looking left. Yeah, we'll find it now. We'll find it now. Okay, let's head straight. Ooh-wee! War, West Virginia. I knew this was going to be a bitch to find, <laughs> to find, it is tucked away, or right, there's my shadow, going across the treetops, I knew this was going to be tough to find because it is tucked away in these little hills, ridges and valleys, valleys and ridges, There should have been a big lake, too, I would have thought. But I missed the lake, I bet. I bet the lake is over that way. Uh, I, and I'm calling it a lake. It's it's a lake, but it's a small lake. It's small. We'll get up here. Let's check the map again. We're going to stay to the right. Let's get down to 3,000 feet. War West Virginia, oh my god. It's It's been a while. I've been through war. Uh, I think we've uh, I've been through war. Yeah, war is the only town in America with that name. War. There is no other town in North America named 
water. Uh, we left off out of Welch. We're coming down toward War. Hopefully we'll see it out our right window here soon. We're at 3,300 feet. We just had an update, and uh, it had something to do with snow and ice and things, so I'm hoping they're getting to where, you know, if it's snow on the ground, the, the details will turn. Let's check this out. We've got a road below us. Pull up the map. Yeah, straight toward it. Straight toward it. Straight toward war. We want to stay a little bit to the right. Let's go this way a little bit more. Oh my god. It could be below us. Hell. Gotta be a creek below us. Oh, we found the river. Okay, this is, um, oh my god. I don't remember the name of the river. Dry Fork. Is it Dry Fork? Down there's the supermarket on the end. Big building on the end. Okay, we're just going to do some orbits here. Uh, let's go one flap. And we should have the school right underneath us, but we can't see it just yet. We'll do an orbit. Uh, Yukon is just right up there. That's where my mother was born. Um, my uh, grandfather and grandmother were up here. I say up here because we're from a little bit further south. And he was working in the mines in, in February. And his wife, of course, my grandmother, was pregnant and went into labor. And I think he was at work. And, of course, there was snow everywhere. It's the middle of February. <laughs> and cold as shit. And they could, there's no hospital around. Uh, you know, back in the back in the damn thirties, and uh, they had a midwife come to uh, the house where my grandmother was staying, and my mother was born. I believe this is war. Honestly, I believe this is war. Pretty confident that is the uh, grocery store down on the end right here near the bridge. Oh, yeah, there's some traffic down there. I mean, you can see it's 10 o'clock in the morning and the sun still hasn't hit on the uh, west side of this hillside right here. I mean, that's all ice and snow for hell and ever. For hell and ever. Yeah, Yukon is just right back there. But here is war. We'll fly over to the high school here in a minute, the elementary school. It's, I think it's called Big Creek High School or something like that. Here's the, here, I think this is where the creek splits, the dry fork. and uh, We'll try to get lower. Uh, population, 800 people, I think, 800 people. Uh, I'm from, originally from a town, I think the population is like 150. So, <laughs> this is quite a big town to be tucking away inside this little valley right here. Beautiful area, though, beautiful area. Yeah, that's the high school and the elementary school. out of war in just a minute. <laughs> this is war. War, West Virginia. 
Oh, I think my game crashed. I'll bring you back. Okay, uh, bringing you back. We had a crash on the recording uh, system. Yes. So, here we go. And we are over war. There is the high school. Just under the wing there. We're slowing down. We're going to try to get a little bit lower. I don't know why uh, OBS is just being a bitch today, but or when I'm flying typically I thought it was because we'd be around heavy scenery like big cities and shit. Maybe these uh, uh, things are popping in. These trees are popping in too, so it could be that. We're slowing down. Yeah, requested video. Sorry about that bump in the road there, but uh, we'll try to get over war. Fly around war. And I love the hollers. I mean, I, I'm from a holler. And, uh... <laughs> they cleared out some space on that hill just above war. Yeah, war West Virginia. Yukon right up the road there. Let's get in really low. Let's go low and slow. Let's get in really low. It's probably illegal we shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> going in. I like to fly canyons, but typically the canyons I fly and you shouldn't be flying in this airplane. I'm just going to fly over the uh, right side of war here. Down low, going slow, try to keep our speed built so we can bank and turn if we have to. Go. Oh, there's the grocery store. I'm not sure what the name of that grocery store is. Grants or so I can't God, hello war. If I can make it out of here, we'll go up that holler over there. I've got her full throttle right now. <laughs> got her full throttle. Across the bridge is the high school and the elementary, Big Creek Elementary. I can't Take off a flap, get some speed. No flaps. <laughs> we are way too low for this. Ooh, what a ride. What a ride. Alright, well, I am going to end it here. Sorry about the hiccup with the OBS. But uh, I hope you like the flyover. If you have another request, uh, if you have a request, just give me some little bit of information, the town, the part of the town you're from, wherever. Uh, GPS, you can get that from your phone, and uh, you don't have to GPS your home. I totally understand security and shit like that, so 
you know, just be downtown, get your GPS, give it to me, and I'll fly around, see what it looks like, see where you're from. Hope you liked the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. And thanks for watching.